working on this end. Let's turn, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. Okay. All right. Hopefully, that is the last hang-up we have because that took entirely too long to get going. PS3 is really hard to get working with. Uh, really hard to get working with um, streaming software because the PS3's got like built-in copyright protection stuff. All right. So uh, you want me to take the first go and then you uh, pick yeah. up? Yeah. All right. So, I'm gonna go kick some pigs. Oh, right, I forgot to get the link. I'm sure, I'm just uh, I'll, I'll just message in the Discord, just monetize it. Uh, I've already got it monetized. There we go. We have about an hour and 15 before I need to start. I think that should be enough time. Alright, so this is our save file time right outside the final boss. This is our save file after everything's been <laughs> grinded <laughs> out. <laughs> Jeez. 15 additional hours. And that's and we actually haven't even completed everything yet. We still gotta finish the race courses. But that's after all the Zenny grinding I had to do. So, time for us to go get the last uh the last secret uh last uh special weapon. And to do that, I'm going to have to go kick some pigs. Uh, make sure we're in the right uh, right area. Uh, oh. Yes, there. Uh, no. The... This one, yes. I've got chat pulled up, so... Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go pay a visit to, uh... The little twins and, uh... Their sister. What's up, Master Chief? And Devil Man? Sorry oh. about that. Welcome PS3 back. PS3 is, uh... Uncooperative as a system, to say the least. Yeah, it's got, like, built-in copyright stuff, and we had to run it through a splitter, and... For some reason, the computer just didn't want to recognize it. We got, we got it going, though. This game has it, some awesome death animations. It really does. So I just pick up the pig, put it in a corner, and kick it over and over again? Precisely. Um. Get down from there. What kind of cartoon physics? You can actually watch Mega Man's armor turn dark in real time. Hey. There we go. Hey. You got time. There we go. And now we're going to sit here for about seven minutes until oh. my karma gets low enough. You notice that the pig's getting What's darker, up, too? Look, look at that. I think I'm bruising the pig all over. Oh, my God. To tenderize the bacon before you make it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that poor pig. <laughs> right? <laughs> Doesn't get much darker than this. It's literally getting darker. I don't know what you expected there. Yeah, Mega Man's armor's getting darker too. Yeah. He, he doesn't get, like, uh, like... He doesn't end up looking like the uh, Dark Rock Valnut from X-Dive. It just is, like, a very, very dark blue, and his skin gets, like, very tan. But uh, after we get that, we go back to Salkata, we talk to that guy hiding behind the the wall, and then we can buy stuff from him. And that's the, where the last item we need is. I almost feel like turning it into bacon would be a mercy at this point. Yeah. What kind of life is it going to live after this? <laughs> you know it's going to develop a phobia of the color blue. Yeah, absolutely.
you're getting there. I think there's like one shade darker than this. At least this is a like really easy, quick way to turn dark. I don't know uh, how to get it back to light if we wanted to, though. Donate it to church. Probably. I mean, I already donated a million. <laughs> how much more do they want? Yeah, I, I think I think I think where we need to be. Can you talk to somebody? See if they. Uh... Do something different. <laughs> I feel like we're probably there. <laughs> that it does. It does make it more delicious. See, now I'm hungry. <laughs> you ever had homemade Literally bacon? Literally just ate. Do I? You ever had homemade bacon? I have, as a matter of fact. Good stuff. Real good stuff. Cut it real thick. Oh, yeah. What's up, Devil Man? Glad you're back. Devil Man back with a brand new rap. And we're going to go see about talking to some uh, black market arms dealer. We went, got a different paint job. Maybe he'll trust us now. There we go. Dude, I have got to get X5 offline. Oh, God. I mean, we have linked Steam accounts, don't we? Oh, do you have it? Yeah, I, I, bought, I bought it the other day. So oh. I, I thought I told you. Nope. Oh. I don't think so. But yeah, I also... You, you, you told me you got, like, the rest of the Mega Man collection. Well, yeah, I have X5 offline, and I got the rest of the Battle Network collection, so... Nice. We can share. He's also got a Reaver Bot Eye, which is not an artifact like it is in Legends 1. You just sell it to a shop for more money. But we've already got all the money we're going to need for the rest of the game, so that was kind of pointless. Alright, so what I'm going to do now that I have the taser is we're going to go talk to Roll. We're going to get the last weapon developed. And then we're going to max it out, and then we're going to go on a little spree testing out the new weapons, and then we're going to come back and... Uh, finish the race courses, and then after that, we'll go on a murder spree with the Shining Laser and finish the game out. Sounds like a plan. Taser and Softball. The Crusher. I've already maxed out all the other weapons. All that money is about to disappear. What is the Crusher? I think it's some, like... Taser bomb thing? I don't have enough money! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, that's not a phrase you were wanting to hear, was it? What is that, 50,000? Mm-hmm. Alright, you know what? Let's let's go sell that Reaverbot eye then. I I shouldn't I shouldn't have bought the Reaverbot eye. Yeah. Let's go sell the Reaverbot Eye. If that don't get us enough, let's just sell off the rest of our weapons because we already have the, the best, like, equipment on us. So, yeah. Isn't that supposed to be, like, the whole gameplay loop? You buy better stuff, sell the old stuff? Yeah. That's what I've done in Final Fantasy forever. The Reaverbot Eye doesn't, didn't show up here. I don't know who we're supposed to sell it to. Alright, so... Ditch. Is this going to get us 50000 That might. I feel like it'd be faster to just go grind uh, where that one Reaverbot likes to hang out. I just wouldn't even worry about it. I want everything maxed out, though. Ah, eh, fair enough, I suppose. Um... There's something else I, I wanted to do. What was that? What's chat saying? 
Uh, Devil Man has a bunch of likes in common with me. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Persona, Mega Man, Pokemon, Boktai, Tekken, Devil May Cry. I really uh, need... A pretty stellar list of favorite games, if I say so myself. I need to get on uh, actually playing Boktai and recording it, because I really want to do video content on it. Uh, so I'll call, uh, Manda. Here we go. Do I even have a special weapon equipped? I don't know. Well, um, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and talk to Roll and uh, do these little things right here. Something I want. We need a new refrigerator, but it's 5,000 zenny. Yeah, go ahead. Talk to Roll. That's something I want. Uh, subscribe to the newspaper, 3,000 zenny. Yeah, go ahead. Talk to roll. Something I want. New TV. 25,000 zenny. Yeah. Talk to roll. Present. Now we can give her all the things that we've been collecting throughout the game. Oh. Do we get anything? That I honestly don't remember. We already got the accidental bat scene, so. I don't know what to think about a Boktai collection. Like, there's a part of me that's like, hope. And then there's another part of me that's like, eh, they still haven't given Flygon a Mega. Like, it's also th good decisions are sometimes not as easily seen by people actually in the industry. I don't, I don't have a ton of hope. I would just be ecstatic if we ever got one. Alright, there's the newspaper she promised. Mega Man finds the final key. Experts divide on what will happen next. Brand new TV. Maybe we'll all have time to watch something. I hate to tell you, Mega Man. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, kitchen's through here. So we got got that brand new refrigerator. Oh, found a picnic lunch. Awesome. Probably a healing item. Yeah. Can you imagine Mega Man just chilling out during the middle of the final boss fight? Just busts out a whole picnic. Yeah. <laughs> and the Sarah's like, "Can I have a sandwich?" No. You will share your potato salad with me, Mega Man! <laughs> That's why I love RPG games where you have healing items other than just, uh... Other than just, like, potions. Because the implications yeah. are funny. But yeah. No, man, I, I honestly, thought I wouldn't give up hope on it, though, because there was a point in time where I would have told you that the DXC Legends collection just wasn't gonna happen. Or, like, not Legends Collection. Legacy Collection. Yeah. Legacy Collection, yeah. Words. You'd think I'd be able to use them as a YouTuber. Nope. Alright, I need 27,000 Zenny. And. So, yeah, apparently, uh, Rio filled me in. There was actually a faster Zenny grinding method than the one that I had. And this shaved literal hours off of my grinding time. <laughs> and I am still grateful for that. I can be useful. Yeah. But also, while we're on the topic of favorite games and stuff, I gotta say, if you don't know, it's Digimon over here. I can't speak for Blade, but it's Digimon, it's not even really close. Favorite anime, favorite game? Uh, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Card game, video game, anime, movies. Love Digimon. Favorite video game, that's always been a hard toss-up. It's definitely gotta be something in either the Mega Man or Gundam series. Uh, I don't even know if I should even count Gundam as being like in a favorite game series just because Gundam has such a wide variety of different types of games. Encounters in Space is one that will always be close to my heart though. Yeah. But uh, as far as like games with like consistent, like series with consistent games that are like comparable to each other Battle Network and X are definitely up there. Uh, but one Gundam game is not necessarily equal to another. I could sit down and play through Cybersleuth completely right now. As long as I had, you know... I, I say we should round up... Food and room. I, I say we should round up a couple of friends, and we should do a four-player run of uh, Digimon World 4. I'd be down. 
the thing with that game, I'm pretty sure the more players you have, the higher the difficulty is, though. Because me and my brother and sister tried to play the game a while back. We got absolutely destroyed by, like, the first boss, and we couldn't get much further. Mm -hmm. But then I was able to solo run the first boss and get... I don't even think I got, like, a tenth of the way through the game, because that game's apparently massive. But, uh, yeah, I was able to make more progress alone than I was with friends, so... So each time you blow up this thing, it gives you 10,000 zenny. So I just need to get 27,000 zenny. Like, total. Now I'm just sitting here er, trying to think of how hard it would be to get my hands on a copy of World 4. I have World 4. Oh, you do? For PS2, and at one point I had a multi a multi-tap. That's how we play three-player. It is still four-player compatible, even though it's only on PS2. Hmm. I, st I still need to play uh, Rumble Arena 2 and unlock all the characters so we can uh, play that. Like, Rumble Arena 2 is really good. I don't know if you ever played that one. I've played a little bit of Rumble Arena 2. It is honestly as close to Super Smash Bros. as a Digimon game ever gets. It's got a little bit of Digimon Battle Spirit in it, and where you, have, you collect orbs, but the orbs are uh, used to power up your Digivolution meter instead of... Uh, Instead of just collect to win, you know? Yeah. Did you know that uh, Battle Spirit is actually a Wonder Swan game ported to the Game Boy Advance? I did not know that. That explains I mean, what... It makes sense. Considering how the graphics are kind of lackluster compared to what some some of the other GBA games uh -huh. can do. Yeah. And that's also why uh, uh, Battle Spirit 1.5 was a Wonder Swan exclusive. But yeah. Uh, Battle Spirit Dude, 1 and 2. It's been so long since I played Battle Spirit. Yeah. Oh, Sir Isaac, I, I'm going to go ahead and let you let you know the the whole like one brain cell that like pongs between us. Like, if you add just one more person to it, it gets confused and just kind of hovers and never actually connects with anyone in the group. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so much fun. It's like if if, <laughs> if, if, if we actually had uh, face cams. Going, you could see the singular brain cell orbiting around the three of us. Yeah, it, it's like it never lands, but it's caught in like the, the orbit yeah. of our minds. If y'all have ever heard that that joke about two brain cells competing for third place, that's given us a little too much credit. Two brain cells, <laughs> two brain cells competing for third place. I've never heard that one before. So, at least in this setting, we have at least half of a business mindset. We're like, we actually got to focus a little. I wasn't expecting that to do any zenny grinding. I thought I was completely done. Turns out I was wrong. But hey, this is the last of it, though. Like, we are finishing this sucker today. And if we I run... I mean, did you need to upgrade any of the other stats on the Crusher? Uh, I had one stat left to upgrade before it was completely maxed out. Ah. Uh, I've already finished completely upgrading everything else. And not gonna lie, some of the final upgrade forms of the other weapons actually look pretty awesome. Like the the energy sword. Instead of just being like a solid color, it's like a like a spectrum blade. Nice. It's like rainbow laser sword of death. It's like Samus's uh, death beam from the end of Metroid or Super Metroid, but it's a sword. It actually shoots. Right. No. The, does it does it do like the full HP thing? It, no. it, it's like a like a swing like it, it's got range like it, oh, okay so it, it's... oh it, it doesn't have like a sonic boom with it no but it's got oh, range dang. it's got range I love when they do that with sword weapons yeah like a legends one mm -hmm. like I, I've kind of grown away from like sword weapons and legendary swords and stuff like that but I still just I, I appreciate a good blade beam yeah Now give me a good old returning spear any day, though. <laughs> what about a returning giant squeaky hammer? I mean... Amy Rose? What? Yeah. I was going to say, it's like, say less. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of... How much? 
Uh, I don't think I got the weapon, but uh, while you weren't looking and I was grinding on the mess saga, I also filled out the bestiary completely, except for what's left in the final dungeon. Nice. Which we'll encounter along the rest of the way. So yeah, after we finish Legends 2, not today, but like our next stream, we're going to keep going with the MS Saga. I think we got, honestly, if we can just keep going, I think we have three sessions total, and then that, that'll be done. The last session is going to have to be completely dedicated to the final super boss because... Because uh, yikes. I've said it before. Real, real quick. Yep. But yeah. Uh, Isaac, yeah. Sorry. Master Sword Beam is basically that to a T. That's the poster child of it. Oh, but, yeah. In uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, when I saw that you could, like, shoot it with the, the like, throw button at full health, I almost lost my mind. <laughs> I still think it's hilarious how, back in Smash 4, uh, fans for years have been saying, Give Ganondorf a sword! So, when Smash 4 introduced custom moves, uh, they turn one of the Warlock punches into the stab with a Sage's Blade, but it's like a backhanded, like, stab. And then in Smash Ultimate, they actually gave him swords. I just always thought that was funny. I freaking I've been more. thinking about getting another copy of Smash Ultimate. But at the same time, I'm just like, do I really need to go down that rabbit hole again? Didn't you say you wanted to get it so your kids could play it? Because they were big in yeah. Mario recently? Yeah, that, that's kind of what's like spurring the thought along. But at the same time, they've been playing the mess out of Mario Wonder, so... Yeah. They'll be fine. I still haven't played Mario Odyssey. Odyssey's really good. It looks like an actual true successor to Mario 64, so I think it... I, I, I would, honest to God, say that uh, Mario Odyssey is probably my favorite Mario game. <laughs> like, it's, it's just stellar. I said stellar, and then my brain immediately went to Mario Galaxy. Completely different game. I thought the game was pretty good. I played the Switch version, and I haven't quite gotten all the shine the stars yet. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck on like the the surfing one because you have to use the gyro controls on the Switch. Dude, the surfing ones are rough. Yeah. You're talking where you gotta like race the manta ray on the yeah. freaking there, water loot. There is a skip that you can do, but I'm not good enough to do it. My patience is not there. <laughs> on the topic of topic whiplash and Mario stuff, I managed to pull off like the crazy Rainbow Road skip. Which uh which Mario Kart? Eight? I I was just playing with a buddy of mine. Using GameCube controllers, I'll, I'll be straight up with you. We were emulating he has a little like USB thing to yeah. plug in GameCube stuff for Smash. Smart. But you, you know the one I'm talking about, right? Where you like have to hop off the left rail at the right so, angle and just fall forever until you hit the. That's most likely Mar uh, Mario Kart 64 then. I feel like it's been so long since I've played anything other than 8 Deluxe, I can barely tell them apart half the time. I think Mario Kart 64 Rainbow Road has the best theme out of the whole series. Alright. Almost done. Just like four more of these and then just clean up on the way out and then we have enough Zenny to finish out the game. I still kind of want to get one of those GameCube splitter things. Like for a, a computer or for a Switch or what? I just in general, like, I think they work both ways because they plug in with USB. Yeah. Like into the back of a Switch dock. So I think it works either way. I could ask. But I really like GameCube controllers for Smash. So...
Is it bad that my preferred control method for Smash is still the 3DS? No. I mean, it's a fighting game. I would argue the best way to play is whatever way you're most comfortable with. You know? Well, it's a party game. But you... <laughs> it's, it's totally a fighting game. Yeah. I, I don't think there's a, a right way to play video games just in general other than whatever way is going to have you doing your optimal play. So comfort. I'm not sure that's working out how you hoped it would. Alright, back to the flutter. And then on to final boss and then side stuff? I'd say let's do the side stuff first and then let's close out with uh, Shining Laser Murder Spree. Yeah, fair enough. I want to see what the Crusher does because I actually haven't really got to test it. I'm gonna take this back to Salcata Ruins because that's where uh, that's where we need to go for the racetrack stuff. Yeah, I can get that. Uh, my my thing with the GameCube controller is I basically only like it for Smash, but there's just something I, I, I played Melee for so long that just the button placement feels right. If that makes any stupid sense. That's kind of how I was with the 3DS version. Yeah. That just became my default because that's just what I had on hand and that's what I played the most of. Yeah. But I was I was also always just a big like, not melee as a game but actually like, hand to hand melee guy. So my, my thumb was always over A so being able to just rotate it to B, Y, or X without much movement at all. You know. Oh, so that's the doll we got roll. It's a penguin. Nice. And the cushion. I would imagine that's right there. The... Yeah. And what else did we give her? I don't remember. Might be that ship thing. The model model of the sulfur bottom? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can also read Roll's diary if we wanted to. Yeah, it was the sulfur ball. Why she got gnomes on her wall? How's the sound levels, by the way? No one said anything about it so far, and usually they're pretty honest with us. Yeah, they're pretty upfront, so. Which we appreciate, by the way. Absolutely. Call us out if there's something you don't like. Alright, so now, time to display our weapons. Been using the vacuum arm, there's not really much else to say about it. Thank you. Sound is good, according to Sam. Excellent. And Isaac. So, yes. I don't think I've seen Sam in the chat before. Hello, Sam. Alright, so let's see what this crusher is. Not gonna lie, uh, considering that it's like an arm and it actually has a hand, I was kind of hoping that it might be like a melee weapon. Like, make a man like pick something up and like power grip it. It's like the grab arm, except like aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> Into my least favorite dungeon. Yeah. Welcome Mega to the stream. Mega Man looking swole. Oh, yo! Oh? It's like a bomb that keeps exploding? 
Get back here. They're just gone. No, like, repeated explosions? They're, they're, they're just instantly gone. That's pretty cool. Well, real glad you stumbled through. I mean, how all the best things happen, right? You just randomly come across something awesome. Managed to stumble into two. Normally there's like the big chicken launcher here. Yeah. Ah, uh, it explodes on the ground. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this room. You wanna see something cool though? Yes. I'm on fire. No, I'm not. I'm fireproof once I step out of the lava. Fireproof, not lava proof. That is an important distinction. More <laughs> right? often than you would think. I am bulletproof! <laughs> to quote All Might, it, it might have mattered if he said, <laughs> uh, crap, I forgot what he said now. Whoops. Was it like, impact absorption was its quirk, not impact immunity? Something like that. At the, like the but... very beginning of My Hero Academia. It's fighting the number of things. Like, it might have mattered if you were immune to it entirely. Yeah, this way. Alright, so that's the crusher. That looked mean. Yeah, that looked sick. I'm just sad that we waited till this long to get it, because that looked like it could have been really useful. I still say ground crawler is gonna be Ground Crawler is just a mean weapon. I love that. Like I was gonna call it a gun, but it's not really a gun, it's like a bouncing grenade launcher. Yeah. It's like all these all these guys are like, no, this thing sucks. I was like, no, it does not. Not not by any stretch. I wouldn't even really call it a grenade launcher. I would call it a very sadistic, like, drone apparatus. Just... <laughs> no, you're taking this hit. It's, uh, it, it's Gateman's toy soldiers. <laughs> they, they follow you. Yes, let's, uh... Alright, next. Buster Cannon. I don't think we've used, like, any of these other weapons. Like, we developed all of them, but we just stuck with what we needed to get through the game. Well, if you recall, that was a big portion of it. At the start of the game, it was just like, we have to actually beat this. Yeah. We probably beat this game in about half as many <laughs> episodes as it would have taken us otherwise. Yeah. Alright, this one's called the Buster Cannon, I think. Long Boy. Oh ho 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 ho! Two That's... shots, not bad. That looks really neat, yeah, though. That looks really cool. Alright, I'm gonna go bully that thing that drops, drops any. I'm just gonna shoot it out of the sky. <laughs> He's a magical pony flying through the sky. Shoot it down. Pfft. Alright, where are you at? Oh, ye giver of Zenny? <laughs> the recoil on this thing. Alright, so the attack power is not... Not really superb. That or that thing just has a lot of HP. I don't think the usual goal is to kill it, is it? No, it's usually just to let it, like, drop Zenny. And kills those little tiny things in two shots, though, so that's that's still pretty good. Two shots from forever away is always a solid argument. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save just in case I accidentally end up, you know, getting myself killed. And I gotta do all that again. Do one of them top ups at data? Yeah. And just to, just be on the safe side. <laughs> Only you can prevent lost progress. Yeah. All right. So that was the Buster Cannon. Next is the Hyper Shell, I think.
Which way does it go? Going up? I think it's like a... It's like a... A rocket-propelled grenade. That's what it looked like. Well, it said it spreads damage over a wide area. Maybe it's like a javelin missile. <laughs> That'd be kind of sick, don't you think? If... If this were like the Monhua and Rock Valna didn't have to manually change all his weapons, dude is a walking one-man arsenal. Yeah. Those kind of weapons. Like, if he actually did break bad and became, like, Dark Mega Man, he would be, like, terrifying to deal with. All right, let's see. Oh! Oh, it is definitely a javelin missile. Okay. That's so cool. <laughs> So it only does like the cluster fire if it has enough room. I think it has, it to, has to hit something. Impact something. Yeah. Still, it's really cool though. I, I like the fact it's got a little shield on the side. Yeah. The control panel has a face. We also don't need to test the Aqua Blaster because we already know what that does. Yeah. Did that at like the very beginning of the game. It also means we don't need the uh, ground the drill crawler. arm or the ground crawler. The yeah, vacuum arm's already been done. Hypershell homing missiles. I don't think we... Did we test these out I, in this game? I think we... I know we did in Legends yeah. 1. The act, I active think we did. Didn't we use it for the train boss? Maybe. I don't remember. It's been a while. Yeah, Zenny shows up in a couple different franchises. I don't know Dra if there's like... Dragon Ball is one I can name off the top of my head. Yeah, Master Chief was just talking about one of those. Or just talking about Dragon Ball, actually. Yeah, it's uh... The one I remember specifically was when Majin Buu wanted to buy ice cream. And uh, they mentioned that they'll give him X amount of Zenny if he can stand up, uh... You know, however long against this one Street Fighter. Or like Boxing Champ, whatever. Alright. Homing Missile. Good splash damage. I hit both of them. Yeah, it's, we used that on the train. And because it's maxed out, it's technically infinite ammo. Yo? Okay. You know what I think the worst part is? Like, I hate to say, like, other than Toriyama's death, but, like, other than that, the most tragic part of it is the chapter of Super that dropped almost immediately afterwards. What happened? I don't want to spoil it. All oh, right, you, you, but you, you can tell me later. Yeah, they do one of Toriyama's favorite characters really good, and he wasn't alive to see it. And I am just go home. He can either confirm nor deny. Yeah. All right. So we've got the homing missile, and next is. Uh, Ground crawler, we know what that does. Vacuum arm, we know what that does. Reflector arm. This, I think, is like a little bouncy bomb thing. Adam. Uh, don't. I know I told you this, and I, I think I mentioned it on stream last time. But when I was doing the Salkata like golden statue quest, when I was getting us back here, I actually managed to beat it without destroying the statue. Nice. <laughs> it was very long and arduous, but it was it was doable. Uh, Master Chief Snake pointed out it was like Majin Buu is just Patrick Star from Spongebob and now I'm trying to think of a good spot to clip Majin Buu just going firmly grasp it! That is a weird shaped weapon. Like, that's how it plugs in? It's like a triangle? What? What is he even? Oh! Ping pong ball okay. of death! <laughs> but what what's it matter when it, it hits things? I think it's so that your bullets have a chance of hitting other things in small areas after whatever you're hitting dies. Maybe. I obviously don't see a lot of use in that one, though.
I wonder how many times we're gonna do that. Just uh, speed skate straight into the elevator. <laughs> My mind's on that clip now. I, I'm, I'm wanting to say it would happen sometime like when him and Deborah fight for a moment. Is that the one? Because it's not much of a fight. Is that the one where he actually trained for once? No, no. Uh, this is like back in the actual like, like Boo era. saga. Okay. There's the the Demon King Debora. Did it suddenly get brighter? A little bit. Yeah, HDMI splitter does weird things sometimes. Shield arm. Mm, we'll come back to that one. Blade arm. Yes. Now I just kind of want to see Mega Man with two of the reflector arm things and him just kind of <laughs> waving his just, hands all over all over the place. Ping pong ball of death everywhere. <laughs> it's pinball. He's pinball. Pinball wizard. Brr. Statistically speaking, this has to really suck for you. What is that from? <laughs> I don't know, but I know I've heard it from somewhere. <laughs> I like to think I'm decently clever. Oh my god! <laughs> You've got a three hit jump combo? Okay. Let's just take that into the final boss. I think it's also infinite ammo now. That is insane. Certainly, like, visually at least, it's an improvement over the sword from Legends 1. I take that to the fight with Juno. Yeah. Sarah, maybe not, but Juno, definitely. Like, Sarah wipes the floor with Juno in terms of difficulty. It's like, I remember Juno used to give me trouble as a kid, but Sarah just blitzed us the first time. <laughs> Blade Master arm, Chief and Sir Isaac are like, ooh, lightsaber, insert monkey gif here, and I'm just like, neuron activation. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Hunter Seeker, I think we already tested that one. It's uh, funnels, only only gives you one at a time, and if it, yeah. it homes in and it explodes. It's, it's pretty cool, yeah. but... Uh, Spread Buster, I don't think we've used that one yet. Machine Gun Arm, we used that one a couple times. Yeah. It, nothing fancy about it. Master Chief says, it's just like Zero in the Mega Man series. <laughs> My brain only can go <laughs> featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. And Knuckles. I've got to get back on that, that solo Hito Shura run, but... Uh, Persona 3? Uh, Nocturne. Ah, oh, right, right. Uh, <laughs> no, the uh, solo Persona 3 run, which... I will be getting back to for those who may be interested, but uh, Solo Nocturne is way worse than just not swapping Personas in P3. Not super practical, but I, I kind of respect the visuals. Yeah. Looks cool. As for how the weapon itself looks, so that's a different story. Looks like like a hose, like you know, like one of those hose cranks. Mm -hmm. You know, roll up your water hose. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I was thinking like a. It looks like a, the extension cord crank thing of yeah. the same kind. Yeah, it, it looks like a giant yo-yo, just attached to your arm, but it's rolled up. But is infinitely less cooler than an actual giant yo-yo attached to your arm used offensively. Yeah. Mega Man EXE gets one of those. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> they just can't give Volnut the coolest stuff. You know, gotta respect Roll a little bit for not saying anything about the the whole dark mega color thing. change. Yeah. But at the same time, it's a little little worrisome that she wouldn't say anything. Yeah, because it's like if you're a good friend, you would take notice when your friend is being evil. Yeah. It's like no judgment, but <laughs> all the judgment. Okay, who's mowing grass out there? I would assume a neighbor. 
Alright, I think this is the last weapon we need to, uh, need to get footage of. The shining laser. We're saving that for the final boss. That's, that's the final boss. And this right here, it's not even a weapon, it's, it's a shield. Oh! Can you just... I can't shoot. Can I... Does it... No, it doesn't. Dang. It probably blocks projectiles, though. Yeah. I wish I had a way to test it. That looks phenomenal, though. Yeah, it really does. Volna got rolling shield. How do you like that? Yo. Yo, what if that stops Sarah's lasers? I'll test that on my own time. <laughs> That, that looks wicked, though. I love that. Dude, I have not played Dynasty Warriors in such a horrendously long time that it actually kind of makes me sad. I, I've been trying to get you to play Dynasty Warriors Gundam with me. I have all four of the games that are available to me. One of them is on this console. The other three are, are on Xbox 360. I just keep forgetting about them. Cause normally, yeah. I don't like Musos. But, but Dynasty Warriors specifically has a bit of a, a soft spot. Because I played that with a buddy of mine. You know for us. Yeah, of course. And then Phoenix Stella. Yeah. We should pick that back up someday. Yeah. I enjoy Dynasty Warriors a little bit more. At least looking back at it with the nostalgia glasses. Yeah. But yeah, just straight up, uh, junior and or it's freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, right? Mm, yes. But yeah, junior and senior year of high school on a PS2. It was either that, like a Dynasty Warriors game, or Final Fantasy X for like ages. So, all right. So we tested out all the weapons. Now we're gonna go do the race courses, and I'm actually gonna let you take some of these. Um, it's actually going to say... Hold on. Uh, where is... You're going to say what? Uh, due to time crunch, we may want to go ahead to... To the final boss? Yeah. All right. I'll get us back there, then. I'll let you run the dungeon, but I'll, I'll get us there. All right. If anything interesting happens, then I'll make, like, a little small announcement about beating the final race course. I may look at that. What is it? Uh, Sir Isaac says that uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 is on a PS4 and Steam. Ah, nice, nice. Be uh, something worth looking at. Hey, uh, you know my buddy CJ, uh, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he's doing a uh, Musou uh, series retrospective. He's like talking about some of the biggest games. The next one he's doing is uh, Fist of the North Star. Okay. Ken's Rage. I think he said that's the next video he's doing. Yes, it is. He showed me the timeline for it. Speaking of games I'm usually not a huge fan of, I, you know I'm not really huge on Metroidvanias? Yeah. I actually stumbled across another one that I just absolutely love. What's that? It's called After Image. Hmm. I think it's relatively new, but it's really pretty and got a really decent story. And the gameplay is smooth enough with the story that I can overlook the massive repetition so that way we'll take you just through the dungeon turn around behind you to take a shortcut to the final boss i'll leave that choice up to you i'll mess around in the dungeon for just a minute i think the gravity shouldn't need much uh modifying so we should be able to just straight shot it Shining laser is at max power, but it's like a, like a drain kind of thing, and certain enemies have like damage thresholds they have to reach before they're destroyed, or have to they have like impact thresholds. If that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. And the spider guys That's have crazy. to have to flip a few times. I'm going to take over the chat. Uh, play Dynasty Warrior 3 and 4 on PS2. 
the only Dynasty Warriors games that I personally have played have been the Gundam ones, and then uh, I've also played Fate Extella, uh, which is basically Fate Dynasty Warriors. You know, I still have my copy of Fate Extella Link, like, special edition, brand new, on my shelf, unopened. That dies pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Also played uh, Warriors Orochi 1 and 2 with a friend. Yeah, remember, you walk forward like in the middle and that little thing's going to jump up and grab you. Yeah. Friends who game together stay together. Same with family members. I'm doing real good getting the kids game in then. Yeah. Oh no, I forgot about... Let me out. Okay. I am going to go ahead and move towards the final... Oh no, y you gotta I kill I have to kill all yeah. of them. Ah, it's still not too bad now that we've got it upgraded. Just going to go ahead and take the shortcut? I'm gonna go ahead and take the shortcut to it. That way we can still try and do some of the races and stuff where I gotta go. Yeah. We're just gonna skip. Like, like uh, can, can we skip the the cutscenes at the end, or I do we have to watch them? Think so. Uh, so debating. Uh, Sir Isaac says uh, still debating on if uh, he should get Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Uh, he knows his local store has them. If you are a fan of Gundam, then I recommend it just because. Uh, it's so silly watching giant mechas with beam sabers and beam rifles cutting down horde after horde of lesser units. It's like, the tales of the original Gundam were exaggerated by Zeon's forces. Oh, destroyed a thousand Zakus on its own. This is you getting to live that. This is you getting to just cut down entire armies using nothing but beam sabers, beam rifles, bazookas, uh... Like, using your Gundam's weapons, and you're fighting against massive armies of giant robots, and it's so silly, and it's so stupid, but it's so fun. Sorry about that. Hydration break. Oh. Orochi is pronounced Orochi. Oh, my bad. It re-caught me? I didn't realize that they had those here. I didn't either. Which way was it? Uh, is this just in the building, right? Uh, no, it's not in the building. It's uh, the teleporters, like, which everyone's are lit up. You're supposed to follow them, and it'll take you to the center. So that one. I think so. Dead instantly. Dang, it, it, it got hit and immediately gave up. <laughs> <laughs> went, nah. <laughs> I also kind of went, nah. Didn't care much for the Gundam franchise, mostly buy it for the game. Well, yeah, Gundam games, yeah, you don't even have to be a fan of the anime to enjoy the games. It helps if you are, because there's a lot of, like, references and uh, throwbacks that you'll miss if you're not. Like, you get combo moves, and there's this one moment that's very uh, infamous in one of the movies where you get a close-up of this mobile suit just flailing its arms with two beam sabers, and the body isn't really moving, but the arms are animated to move. That's one of this mech's, like, destroyer, like, combo destroyer moves. He's just flying around, just swinging his arms wildly, chopping everything to pieces. So, if you appreciate throwbacks like that, then you'll love Dinosaur Warriors Gundam. But if that's not important to you, you might just be like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. But again, as someone who loves throwbacks and things like that, like, I thrive off these kind of references. Yeah, it's good for me. Freaking love Dinosaur Warriors Gundam. Two is the one that I played the most. I haven't even actually played the first one very much. I'm going to go ahead. Well, do you think I should save it data? I, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Are we going to have to do the boss rush again? I don't know. Do you think it's going to matter much with the shining laser? No, probably not. If we do, I'll take the bosses. You can take Sarah. Yeah. If not, then you just take Sarah head on. Fair enough. Uh, Chief Snake says uh, their friend loves the uh, Warriors Musa series. Yeah. Um, I can definitely see why. Uh, I definitely get the appeal of the hack and slash genre. I still need to get, uh, or not get, I still need to play through 
Persona 5 Strikers. I went through all the work to get it working on the Steam Deck just because it said that it doesn't work on the Steam Deck and then never touched it. <laughs> it says doesn't work. You said bet. <laughs> it says doesn't work. I said it's a Linux system. I mean, come on. <laughs> Unless it just literally doesn't have the processing power, it's going to do what I tell it to. No, it's just like, I just get the, the image of you. It's like, this game says, uh, this won't work on Steam Deck. I just see you with the freaking 44 Magnum. I wasn't asking. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> what I did. I <laughs> uh, never really watched Red, anything Gundam, so who knows, maybe enjoy it. Uh, pick up uh, which one, can't remember which one it is. It's one of the numbered ones. Uh, the only ones that are numbered were 1 through 3, and then the fourth one is called Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn, and as far as I know, it is only on PS3. And physical copies are stupid expensive. The digital copy on the PSN store is still very expensive, but not as expensive as the physical ones. So yeah, uh, depending on which console it was on, if it was on PS2, it was probably Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2, because I think that's the only one that was on PS2. I could be mistaken, but that's one I had when I was younger, and then I just went and bought it for uh, Xbox 360, like all three of them. So, And in the same vein, you gotta start somewhere. Oh yeah, absolutely. So you may pick the game up, not knowing anything about Gundam, absolutely love it, and suddenly we have a new just Gundam expert hanging out with us. I'd be absolutely know. fine with that. <laughs> I mean, heck, isn't that how uh, I got into Dead Rising? But basically. Like Frank, Frank West be hanging out in Project Cross Zone Marvel vs. Capcom, and I'm like, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, you, you were like, who's this guy in Project Cross Zone? I played that. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I'm hearing something about Frank West every week. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I didn't mean it like a bad thing. Uh, PS3 and 360, it's a PS3 game. Remembers that much. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it's definitely one, two, or three. If you can remember uh, what the cover photo looks like, I could probably tell you which one it is. If it's got, like, a Gundam, like, swinging its beam sabers, like, towards the camera, and he's surrounded by, uh... Wait, if, if it's one of the numbered ones, that means it had to be two or three, then, because Dynasty Warriors Gundam isn't called Dynasty Warriors Gundam 1, so it's got to be two or three. If it's got, like, a big, uh, like, black Gundam in the background, then it's probably the second one. If it's got, uh, a white one with, like, red outlines, then that's the third one, I'm pretty sure. Well, I can't help you if, it, if it's only two of them, because you know if it's a 50-50 shot, yeah. I guess wrong. I can call it 10-15% thing all the time. 50-50 shot... 100% miss rate. Speaking of miss rates, I need to get back on that uh, battle chip challenge grind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get past Gutsman eventually. I just need the perfect RNG to happen. It's just been a very busy last couple of months. It really Do has. You want to go back and save before we actually engage? Probably a good idea. Because, like... On the off chance we get bopped, I really don't want to have to run all the way back through here. That's slot four. The one that's got the, the most one time. with the hellacious amount of time. Yeah. And the thing was, I wasn't even taking my sweet time with the save file. I, I didn't. I'm not gonna say I sped run, but I ran through that as quickly as I could. Here we go. Yep, we can't skip. Mm. Her HP is not decreasing as fast as I would be comfortable with. Still pretty quickly, though. Don't remember what the case looked like. Maybe it was two. Oh, yeah, it could also be a thing of, like, uh, it could have just the generic, uh, like, store case. I didn't even take that into account. Ow. Yeah, that attack, uh... Well, good thing we have a massive energy canteen. Yeah, my, my one hit up that canteen. Yeah. Invincible? What? So it does trivialize the final boss, but you do have to put in some effort. Like, into dodging and stuff. It's not just free. Nah. Sarah's still gonna make you work for it. 
I'm interested to see how the, how the final, final boss goes. I feel like, honestly, it might be a little easier, because she, she wasn't as teleporty in that one, if I recall. No, but she does just kind of, like, hover over you and drop missiles on you. Fair enough. Oh, her HP is dropping faster. Ow. She also hits harder. I'm going to see if I can do this without having to move. Uh, the, 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 the energy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Zap. Well, <laughs> shining laser only run ruined. Ridiculous. She didn't even really attack me for the last half of her HP bar. <laughs> <laughs> didn't oh get the chance. God. Well, that was easy. It just goes to show you, folks. Money can solve your problem. <laughs> <laughs> if you got, you know, a couple of million dollars laying around. you think? Mm. You got about 15 minutes. And that's it? Alright. I need to be home at 4. Okay. But well, 4 o'clock our time. But, uh... Yeah. So, give the race courses, like, a couple of tries? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to run all the way back to... All the way back to Earth. We had the opposite problem. <laughs> I should have had more faith in you. <laughs> the sheer look of regret on this man's face, guys. Oh my god. I should have had more faith in you. <laughs> again, I, I handed him the controller so he has to run back. Again, I say that I wish this game had some kind of uh, escape rope mechanic. It, and... <laughs> In my later years now, uh, I've come to love fast travel just in general because I just don't have as much time. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to set one up again soon, but it's just infeasible with our current setups. Uh, I'm uh, talking about face cams. There's no room. Yeah, it's also a matter of getting a uh, high enough quality cameras like we could use uh, one of my camcorders or DSLRs but the uh, it's a matter of getting them to capture properly to the streaming app that was definitely a moment I wish we had one though that was that was a treat. Would have been almost as good as that one moment in MS Saga when it's like, opens a treasure chest, gets a hacking tool, uses hacking tool on a locked treasure chest, gets two hacking tools. Yeah. Since we're almost done with that, I, I'm pretty sure I said this on camera too, I'm also gonna make like a compilation of my favorite moments from our playthrough. Just put them all in the same video. Okay. So, here, I, I know how y'all can see the exact face he made. I know exactly how to do it. All right. Okay, so you know that whole thing with the uh, Halo live-action thing? And how they were, like, saying they're not going to have Master Chief in his helmet all the time because it's really hard to convey facial expressions with a helmet? They're, wrong, they're, they're wrong, but yeah. yeah. So you, you know that, right? Yeah. There's a really famous video going around, like, TikTok, YouTube shorts and stuff like that. I say really famous, but I see it a lot. But it's just, like, someone going can't convey mo er, emotions with a helmet on and it's just someone from uh, I can't think of what it's called. from Common Rider yeah. hand washing some laundry 
And then it like pans around and there's a washing machine behind him and he just kind of like slowly turns and looks at it in full armor and then slowly turns and looks back at the camera. That was his, that was Blade's face. <laughs> That's what it was. That was it exactly, I swear to you. <laughs> You're going to have to show me this video after we're done here because <laughs> it's to a T, man. <sighs> You, you turned and you looked at me just... <laughs> oh my god. No, I, I think my, my brain went in the opposite direction for a minute. So, talking about can't convey facial expressions through a helmet. I was remembering our first playthrough of Dead Rising when we put the Servant mask on Frank. And it's like, you have these serious moments where it's like a character is dying, and then it cuts over to Frank, and he's just got the, the big goofy smile. Not that way. Not that way. It's not? It's oh, right, right, right. <laughs> oh, I'm glad my brain made that connection. There we go. Alright, so why are we why are we stuck on the moon again? Did I miss that in the in the closing dialogue? Like why can't Yuna just take us home? I think they had to leave. Yuna was with us though. Something happened with Gats? Is that his name? Yeah, Gats was doing something. But yeah, like, he's he... the navigation system. Oh. Something happened with him and now you can't get back. Oh. If I recall correctly. Yeah, but uh, he's not, maybe I shouldn't have skipped the cutscenes. He's be real. He's not the ship though. So it's like we have the ship, but yeah, if, if the navigation system is blown up and or messed up in that, that makes sense. Wait, see, like if again, this is a if I remember correctly. Hold on. Yeah. Yep, I know what you're talking about too. What was it? Uh, talking about an episode of Clone Wars, I'll just quote him. So after Captain Rex gets orders from Pong Krell in the Umbara arc, and he just, it just sits on his face. Oh, just... Pong Krell. Gotta admit, impressive that that dude can dual wield saber stabs, staves, however you pronounce it. Like, dual wield and double blade lightsabers, that's impressive. But, F that guy, seriously. Like I was saying, like, he blew up his body or whatever on the uh, sulfur bottom fighting that other one. But his program was used to, like, navigate to Eden? Eden, yeah. Yeah. Was used uh, to Elysium. Elysium. Eden is the system within Elysium. That's right. But, yeah, so it, he was used, and then he does something else later on. Uh, he did and something they have to, like, to stall out Sarah or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Dragon Quest uh, has escape dungeons, fast travel spells, actually, even in the first few games. Yeah, that that would be helpful. <laughs> yeah. Zoom is great. Another thing that I was going to say is... Uh, oh, yeah, isn't that also a thing in like some of the Final Fantasy games? Hmm? Like a, a fast running spell? Well, um, I was going to say, one of the things that we take for granted, or at least kind of, is that in the earliest versions of the first Final Fantasy games, you couldn't save everywhere, but in the in the re-releases of Final Fantasy 1, you can. And it's like, the originals, you could only save on the world map and such. Like, you had to use a sleeping bag, and that was how you saved, and I was like, ugh, no, no thank you. I did awful. Such a good arc, one of the best. Um, yeah, Bree and I are still watching Clone Wars. We're still on season one. I really want to get to season four because that's when my boy Darth Maul shows back up. I did not turn fast enough. What is the goal time again? I think it's 25. 
That's doable. Or just got to get rid of the the silly mistakes. I wonder if I wonder if like there is actually a notable reward other than some zenny. Well, if uh, my time is correct, then we have about seven minutes till we need to wrap up. <clears throat> Probably I mean, y'all can keep going. I've just got... Well, we can't because we're using your computer for this. Oh, yeah. Mm. Tragic. Yeah. I forget about that. We. Nice. And sadly, the plans that I have set up for today require, the <laughs> require my computer. I, even even if offered, I wouldn't keep your computer here. Like, I appreci I would appreciate it, but no. Oh, my goodness. Uh, friend was a fan of the Star Wars series, especially Battlefront games. Yeah, Battlefront 2. Like, OG Battlefront 2 was fantastic. Rogue Squadron is still probably my favorite Star Wars game, though. I sunk so many hours into that game. Like, freaking love Rogue Squadron. Not sure. What is the mid air turning in this? Not that great. You can kind of aim for the the angles on the like hills next to you, and it'll occasionally give you another little jump. Real quick, I'm gonna check if there is a price for this on the cheap. Yeah, I'd heard that the Battlefront remaster was kind of uh, problematic. <laughs> Only rewards are cash prices, apparently. So other than just us, other than just saying that we could, there's not really much else for us to accomplish by doing this. Fair enough. Do we have any other quests we need to complete? I think that was that was all the ones I could, I could find. I think that was all the important ones. We returned all the items to roll. We uh, got all the weapons. We displayed all of them at some point or other. We beat the final boss using a shining laser. We kicked a pig a bunch. Yeah. That pig has a concussion and a fear of the color blue now. So I think this is it. I think this is the end of Legends 2. I mean, we knew that going into the stream, but I, I feel like this is this is it. Yikes! That, yep, that's all I needed to hear. It was GTA. What? Uh, definitive Sir edition Isaac, bad. Yeah, Sir Isaac said the online's bad, and then Master Chief's like, "It's GTA Definitive Edition in Battlefield 2042 bad." I don't know anything about either of those. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> How bad is that then? Uh, like, I don't know if they're bad games. Or not. But the online is that bad. But I am, like, personally friends with people who have played them. Yeah. And I, the one person I know with GTA Definitive Edition will not play it online. Hmm. I don't know if it has an offline portion or not. Oh. But, like, it played and then stopped. They did release an updated patch for the Battlefront collection to fix a few things. And... Fortunately, it does have offline, and you and I actually need to make a run through uh, Rise of the Empire and at least a couple rounds of Galactic Conquest. I'd be down. Yeah. You know, after we get our next gaming project going, because after this this is the end of Legends 2, we've beat EXE Wonderswan, and then we're going to finish out MS Saga, and then we're doing a game that Rio wants for a change. World Data Squad! Digimon, Digimon. World Data Squad. That's one that I've been curious about for a long time as well, and I'm interested to see how it turns out. It is also one of the few that I have not beaten to a just fine, like, powder. Like, pulps being generous. <laughs> a little generous to some of these games. So, it's, it's, a, it's a good game, then? Like, it's a... Uh, we'll I, I like it. it. I like it. It's, it's unique. I think my brother had it, but I don't... That, that was back when he was doing the thing where he would buy games and wouldn't let me play them, even though we shared the console. Yeah. Like, can't fault him too much for that, though. The, the thing I like about it is, like, 
your Digimon kind of tell you what they want to do. Yeah. And then, like, there, there's branching evolution path type. Thing. It's it's cool. It, it stands out. Okay. okay. Uh, against all of the other Digimon worlds. And I liked it. All right. Well, we got anything to add then? Uh, no, I think that's good. Uh, <laughs> Master Chief is actually having to go too, so. Yeah, so I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. And same time next week, hopefully. Yep. I, I may try and scream something yep. midweek. Uh, let me check the date. Uh, no, not that's... same time next week. Because that's April, April Fool's Day. No, that's the no, that's that's Easter. Easter. That is Easter. Yes. Yep. Got family. Yeah. yeah. Might as well hang that one up. Got, got family too. Yeah. Like I said, it's been a very busy last couple of months. So, well, well, that being said, we'll figure something out. This is the finale for Legends 2. Y'all, or you guys have a happy Easter, whatever other holidays y'all might be celebrating. Or just enjoy your day off if yeah. you get it. So, this has been Blake Cross EXE. And Rio G42. With Flash of Blaze Productions. Thank you all for sticking with us through this slog of getting <laughs> this thing done. And we'll be back with MS Saga next time. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>